Um, yeah, so I, 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 I does, does anybody here love gifts? Like, I, I love gifts. I, love, it, I see two hands. Like, yes, I, I love gifts. You know, I, I love um, what it does to people when you give them a gift. You know, I love how you could be having a, a blah kind of a day. You know, you wake up in the morning, you stub your toe in, or you walk out the house and you forget that you ran out of deodorant and it just, the whole day is weird and it smells funny. You know, or, 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 or you, you're on your way to, 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 to work or, and, and, and something happens to your car and it's like, ah, but, but it's something about if someone gives you a gift, it just changes the game. Like, especially like those, those gifts that are like uh, um, um, th those just because gifts, like those surprise gifts, you know, those, those gifts that come on like Wednesday, you know, like it, 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 they, they are, uh, they're the game changer. Gifts make people feel loved. Gifts make people feel appreciated. It shows that, 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 that you admire them and that, 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 that you love them. And it, and it also gets also, it draws attention. You know, we, we go crazy sometimes, especially when it comes like celebration and things. We'll, we'll drop a bag on a gift if we love them enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, then you got the people who, who know they dropped the bag on a gift um, and they leave the price on the gift. Just so much, just to, just to let you know how much I love you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like I, I got a, uh, I got a, a gift from somebody, a, a, a friend of mine, and, 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 and she's just the sweetest thing ever. But every time, she just, she just feels the need to tell me how much the gift cost. <laughs> I'm like, okay, baby, I, I, I love you too. Thank you. You know, but, but, but it's interesting I, what I find is that so many of us would rather present a physical gift to get what we want, to make up for what we did, to get us into opportunities more than to present the gift that God has put inside of us. No, we'd rather spend our time and resources on the physical gifts, the physical gifts and things more than the gifts that we have been given. And many of us have fallen into the trap and the trick of the enemy that banking on the belief that the physical gifts are what's going to, is the secret ingredient that's going to keep us out of our emotional and physical places that we find ourselves in. Here it is, here it is. We, we've been bamboozled to believe that the external is more valuable and powerful than the internal. You know, we, we can look at nature all over the world. We can look at nature. We can look at the animals. We can look at the human anatomy. And everything that says, everything says that the unseen is more valuable than the actual seen. We look at seeds being planted in the ground. Eggs waiting to be hatched, cocoons waiting to break. We see that the true value isn't what's on the outside, but what's on the inside. You know, and one thing for certain, two things for sure, is that God, just like God told Jeremiah in Jeremiah 1.5, and I believe this is the same for us, it says, before I even knew you, before you even knew you, before you even were thought of, before I formed you in your parents' womb, in your mother's womb, before you were formed in your mother's womb, he knew us and set us apart and appointed us. Right, right, but, but here's the thing, here's the beauty about this, is because God didn't form us, he didn't choose us, he didn't appoint us without first giving us something inside of us first. And that thing that he gave to us, in the beginning was a gift. 
He gave us a gift. Tell the person next to you, say, I, I have a gift. Now, now tell the other person behind, say, yo, I have a gift. Now, now tell yourself, I have a gift. Now look, I don't know if you see it, but I see just the, just the, just the fact that we're saying and proclaiming that and believing that we have a gift. Insecurity is leaving our minds right now. Doubt is leaving us right now. Fear is leaving us right now. Because what happens is that we find ourselves thinking that we came into this world with nothing. We may have came into this world naked. We may have came into this world not knowing what we were supposed to do. But it didn't mean that God gave us to this world empty. He didn't, get, he didn't bring us here empty handed. And so what I want to dive into today, I wonder if we could turn with me to Proverbs chapter 18. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 16. And it says this. It says, a man's gift will make room for him and brings him before great men. I'll read it one more time. A man's gift will make room for him and bring him before great men. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word. I want to talk about today the gift within. Look, I, was, I was looking, you know, I, 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 I love when, I, you know, I, when, we, when we read the word, we get to see what, you know, what words like, like different words just, just pop out, you know, in scripture when you, as you read it. And, 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 and certain words that just, it just, you want to know what they mean. You know, so I, I, I did the most, you know, uh, how can I say this? Uh, the most um, co collegiate and scholarly thing is I asked Siri, what is the definition of a gift? And listen to what she said. She said, that she, gave, she gave me a few definitions. So here, here's one of them. It says, it says, a thing given willingly to someone without payment. Now, 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 I, I love this because I, I think one of the key words is um, it, you give it to them willingly, not reluctantly. Like, like I mean, like you, like you really want to like, you give it, you don't like give it to them and like want to take it back at the same time. Like, like, like if, if, if you feel that way, I don't know if it's a considered a gift. You know, it's more like torture. <laughs> you know, and, and, and so, 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 so here, here's, here's another one. It says, uh, well, this is one of my favorites. It says, a natural ability or talent. Uh, a gift, listen, this is how you know, listen, uh, this is how you know if, 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 if it's a gift or not. It's, it's, here it is. It's a gift can be something that comes easy to you but difficult for somebody else. You know, and, and, and so what, what I also love about it is that it says that it's a natural ability. Now, I don't know about you, it's like when, it, when something is natural, it means you didn't give it to yourself. It, it like people just are, are, are naturally like, they, you know somebody that's just naturally funny? You know, like they, like, 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 like they don't even have to try. Like, like, they are just them. <laughs> they are just, they just are. You know, they're, they're I, like one of my closest friends, he's a, he's a photographer, right? And um, he has this amazing ability is when you tell him an idea, he'll build a whole concept for you in like 10 minutes. 
Like, it's, I'm, I'm like, bro, I didn't even give you, like, the whole thing. He says, yeah, but, bro, bro I already know what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? It, it's something that just comes easy to him. You know, it, 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 it's something that, like, like it's inherently, it's just, it's, he's just given to it, right? And so I, I think that we need to start when we think about gifts. We need to start thinking about our gifts as, like, superpowers. No, like, I'm, I'm serious. Like, like, like it, it needs to be put on a thing like, like this is something that I am unstoppable at even if someone tried to stop me. You know? And so but what happens is during this, this, this thing that we have called life, this journey we have called life, what happens is along this journey, we make mistakes. We do things that we know we shouldn't be doing. Saying things we know we shouldn't be saying. Thinking things that we, we, we shouldn't be thinking. You know, and, and we think that because we have been doing these things, we think that God is just like, ah, I no longer want to use you. Like, have you ever felt like because you did something wrong, like we start thinking about, see, that's why you will never, whatever that never is, no, that's why you'll never be able to, or, 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 or maybe you need to try something else. As if, because you made a mistake, God wants nothing to do with you. No, but, but we know that that's a lie. Because in the book it says this, in the book it says in Romans it says, the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. I mean, so, so God didn't change his mind about you, about your gift, just because we dropped the ball. And the reality of it is, because we know, this it says this, we know that, that he didn't change his mind about us. What actually happened is we changed our mind about ourselves. You know, so, 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 so we, neglect the, we neglect the internal gift and self-medicate with the physical ones. And what we, 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 what we do is, even when it comes to the self-medicate with the physical ones, we actually make it seem like we're walking in our gift because we look like we are. We have the right wrappings, but this vessel seems to be a little empty. So, 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 so we get here and it says, yo, so, so what we tend to do is we do the same thing that the servant did in the parable in Matthew 25. You guys remember that story? It's when a, 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 a master went away. And he gave his servants some talents, right? Gave his servants talents. He gave one person one, another person two, another person five, right? And so what happened was all the one who gave two, the one who gave five, they did something with what they were given. But the one that was given the one, he, he, he did something very interesting that unfortunately... I think many of us tend to do. And it says, it says but, but in Matthew 25, verse 18, it says, but he that had received one went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. He, he hid it. Now, look, I was, I was like, I, I was a little bit interested on, on, on what like, like hiding something. And when I thought about it, when I looked into it, it means to keep a secret. I want to know how many secrets are you hiding? How many talents, how many gifts are you keeping a secret? You know, because here's the thing, I don't, I don't think that the world can afford any more gifts being kept secret. Yeah. 
Listen, I, I think there's a couple things. So check this out. Um, another reason why I think that we hide our gifts is, is, is sometimes because we think that someone else's gift is better. Uh, when, 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 when it's not, it's, when it's not that their gift is better, but maybe they have been working on it longer. You know, no, no, or here it is, here it is. Uh, 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 they actually believe that they have the best gift. Like, I know people who, who really believe that, listen, the gift that I have can't nobody touch. Like, like, like they, they can't do it like I do it. Like, I, I, we could be doing the same thing, but I promise you, when, me and you, when I walk into the room and you walk into the room, like, we are not the same. Like the results are not going to be the same, I promise you. And what happens is what I find is that sometimes we will hide our gifts because of someone else's confidence is higher than ours. You know, and so uh, I, 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 I think this is very important because I think like the people who actually believe that they have the best gift and that actually they are the, the best person to have this particular gift, I think it's important because they do something in the word that it says that we should probably do because they, they think in their heart that that is wiz. That is actually the really thing. They think in their heart that really believe that, listen, I am the person for the gift. And what happens is as they believe and as they work, doors begin to open. So now, this is how we can, inter this is how we can internally know, inherently know that the inner gift is more valuable, intimate, and personal than the actual external gift. So, so, so look, because here's the thing. <laughs> this, this is crazy. Because we don't hide things that aren't valuable. We don't hide things that aren't intimate. We don't hide things that aren't personal. So the fact that we are hiding our inner gifts proves that it's even more valuable than the physical one. But what's even more interesting is that we would rather spend the things on the physical one because it's easier. Like there are times where I actually would buy something because it was easier to buy it than it was to actually quote unquote make it. So, 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 so we hear, and I love this, and I'm gonna keep it a hundred, I'm gonna keep it a bean, I'm gonna keep it a thousand percent because this is what, this, this is actually uh, very terrifying for, for many of us. When it comes to having this gift and, 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 and knowing that like, like uh, this gift will make room for us, th this, is, this, is, this is very terrifying sometimes, is that this, number one, your gifts are given to be displayed. Now look, that, that, that can be very terrifying because when you, when you put your gift on the table, it exposes you to ridicule. It exposes you to rejection, disappointment. It, it exposes you to the elements around that could possibly harm what it is that you have. But, but, but here's, here's the thing when it comes to, to gifts that are being displayed, there, two things are, are required when it comes to displaying our gift. And, and one thing is that we have to have faith <laughs> that what God gave us will not fail. We have to have faith that what God has given us actually will and does work. But, but here's the other thing. Ah, I, don't, I don't know if we like this one. It actually requires works. <laughs> L 
Listen, it's, it's interesting. This, this is the crazy thing. It's like we'd rather be miserable working on the physical more than uncomfortable by working with the internal. You know, like, 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 so, so, so listen, God doesn't give us gifts, i.e., he doesn't start something with no intent on finishing them. And for me, I'm going to keep it a bean. That's encouraging because I am a horrible finisher. <laughs> Look, I, uh, my mom tells me all the time, Keith, you got you to gotta finish what you start. You know, I'll start folding my clothes and I will never finish. They'll be sitting on my bed for about a week and a half. Keep in mind, I get in my bed every night. Talk about needing some help. So what I love is that God is the best finisher. Listen, and, 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 and here he goes. If, here it is. If we never display our gift, regret will eat us more than rejection ever will. Well, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm tell y'all a quick story real quick. All right, so, but the thing about it is you have to promise me not to laugh. Do you promise? Y'all lying. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. So, look, okay, very transparent moment one time in my life. So, what had happened was, so, I was in a clothing store. And, uh, listen, guys, I saw the most beautiful woman I thought was ever walking on the planet. I saw it. It was, it was, it was incredible. It was, I, I was in line, and I, and I did one of these. And so what, what, what happened was, and so, like, here's the thing. Like, like she was really fly. Like, she had, she, I mean, she had the drip on. You know, I, I felt like we could have had a connection. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, because so, like, but in the midst of, like, this, this, this idea that I was thinking in my mind, like, I realized that she also gave me a look. You know, like, like the look like, like, oh, I think you're pretty cool too kind of situation. Like the nonverbal communication, you know, kind of thing. I usually don't, I usually miss all of those. So look, so what happened was, I'm like, okay, uh, I'm in line and um, uh, she's getting, she's like, she's getting at the jury section. I was like, listen, I'll buy you something right now. You, I'll get you a gift right now. You know, like, I don't even need to know you, you know. On tight time, so so look, so 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 she 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 leaves, right? She leaves. So I'm in line. So I noticed that you know she was, and looked like it looked like she was like taking her time doing what she was doing because like it was like Keith, like she's waiting for you to go say hello. <laughs> Duh. So 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 I get so so she I, I see like she leaves right. And um, I saw what direction she went, and so I I'm in line. I'm like trying to get the lady to hurry up. Because I have intentions. So, so I'm, I'm mustering up the courage, right? Mustering up the courage, and I, 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 I follow her to where she's going. She's going to the elevator. I'm like, oh, I, I need to go to the elevator, but I really don't because my car is actually on the other side of the building. So I go to the elevator, and so we're on the elevator, just the two of us. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Two of us. So we're in the elevator, and um, uh, I'm, I'm looking down at my phone, and she's uh, doing her thing. And I'm just like, wow, that's a really fire jacket you got on. And um, she's like, oh, wow, like, thanks. Like, you know, I was like, oh, who's the, the designer? Da, da, da. She's like, I don't know. I got it from this website. And I was like, oh, all right, cool. Yeah, yeah. And, like, we, we like, vibe in a little bit. And so then she's like, Okay, like, oh, man, like, like, have a good day, you know. So I'm like, oh, I was like, all right, cool, you too. So, like, she gets off the elevator, I get off the elevator, and then she says, all right, cool, like, like have, a, have a good day. She said to me twice, two times, two times. So I, 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 I say, oh, okay, have a good day. To keep in mind, I'm in a garage that my car is not at. My 
car is nowhere near this garage. So then I'm like, oh, okay, and I choke, and I choke. So I, she gets into her car, and I'm walking the opposite direction, don't know her name, don't know where she lives, don't have her phone number, and I'm like, bro, you went over there to tell her that she has a nice jacket? Talk about regret. They ate me up for months. And my friends won't even let me live it down. Every time they bring it up, oh, you going to the mall lately, bro? <laughs> to remind me. Like, and, and so like, I mean, uh, I, I run at peace with it now. But the thing about it is, regret, right, really did. Like, that's funny, but regret, like, I was eating up, I was getting ate up by that for a minute. Like, I missed it. You know, I missed it. And so here's the thing. So check this out. The next thing it says, right, I have no idea if this even goes. I'm just talking. Um, but here, here it is. So look, look the, the next thing it says, it says, a man's gift will make room for him. So, so, so it makes room. And, and what I think, what I love about this is that it says when it makes room, it means it makes a wide space for anyone, i.e. room for him. You know, you know and, and, and so here's the thing, when we think about gifts, right, I got to when we think about gifts, like when we, back in the day in the eastern part of the world, like they made this really big elaborate presentation when they were giving gifts. Like you would think that um, the dancing and all the festivities that were going on, like you would think that that was the actual gift. But the gift was actually behind the presentation. And so what the presentation did, it made room in the streets for people to move out of the way. Hmm. <laughs> so, 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 so maybe we'll move out of the way. And so what I, what I love this is because when I think about when it says your gift will make room for you, your gift moves things out of the way so that you can come in. Now, 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 now what happens is, is that, that, that we don't think our gifts will ever make room. We won't use our gifts because we think that, oh, there's too many people in that space. There's too many people doing what I think I want to do, what I feel like I'm called to do. And so what we do is we continue to bury the gift, not knowing that you only need a little bit of space. You need a little bit of space. Now listen, if, 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 listen, if you don't want no space, don't expect no room. Like, 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 if you're not going to use your gift, don't expect room to get in the stuff. You know, and so check this out, it says, uh, but what you think, the, the point number two is this, is, uh, your gifts, in the midst of your gifts making room and making space, it actually, your gift has to be developed. Like, develop, like, this, this word, I, in this day and age, especially, like, I don't like the word develop because all I can think about is how long. Like, how long is this going to take? You know, no, and, and, and the question needs to be is like, well, well, not how long is it going to take, is how, how big is the reward when I get there? No, how big is the room when I get there? You know, and so... <clears throat> This is what I found out, a way that we can develop our gifts. In Colossians 3, 17, it says, And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do it in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. So everything we do, give thanks. Right? That's how we can, that's how we continue to, to, to develop our gifts. Another way we can develop our gifts is it says in Ecclesiastes 9, 10, Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all of your might. I, I think that sometimes, if not many times, we tend to do, we were talking about this in our ethos Bible study, we tend to do and work our gifts slothfully. We don't do it with all our might. We do it as if we have time. And rather, we don't got no time. We don't know what tomorrow holds. We don't know what's going to happen in the next second. But what's interesting is the fact that, I, that, 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 that this is also a trick of the enemy. You know, because he wants us to not only does he, does he want us to, 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 to bury our gifts, but, but, but he wants us to 
He doesn't want us to develop our gifts because the thing about it is he can't take our gift away, but he can come after your confidence. And so, and so check this out. So, so, so here's another one. So it says, the, the next part of the verse says, listen, and it will bring him before great men. Bring before a great man. Now listen, when you bring him before a great man, it means to lead, to guide, to bring, to pull. But I think that sometimes we ignore the guiding and the pulling part. Like we're not listening to what God is saying. And so if your gift brings you in the presence of one place, it means that it can take you out of another place. You know, so, 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 so. Um, 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 here it is, the, 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 the final point says number three, listen, it says it will bring you before great men. Listen, your gift has a destination in mind. Look, your gift has a destination. Listen, it may take some time to get there, but rest assured because the gift is moving somewhere, it will take you and bring you into the realm of greatness. You know, and this is the promise. It'll always bring you into a realm of greatness. So look, here it is. This is how we know it's going to bring us to, this is, this is how it can help us bring us into the realm of greatness. As we commit to the Lord and he will establish our plans. Okay, 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 okay. And here it is another one. It says, ah, this, is, this is another one we don't like. Listen, it says in First Peter, it says, after you have suffered a little while, a little while, the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ will himself perfect and confirm you. So look, 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 when, 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 here it is. So, so this is the beauty about this idea, about this, about, about this gift, guys, is that, is, that, is that not only does it have to be displayed, does it have to, does, not only does it have to be developed, not only does our gift have a destination, but our, our gifts are multifaceted in itself. And we have the actual idea of a gift, and then you have the actual object, the person of a gift. But here's the thing, I love it because we can't, the reason why we can have these gifts is because we had the ultimate gift maker and ultimate gift giver. And he gave the perfect gift on the cross, and his name is Jesus. And he died for our sins so that we may live not this life, but life more abundantly. I love that more abundantly. Listen, I'm not just trying to live. I'm trying to live higher, okay? I'm trying to live bigger, okay? I'm trying to live more, okay? I'm trying to live eternal, okay? Because the gift is eternal in the inside, but we settle for the physical gift that has a timeline. So look, church, I'm gone. I'm done. But, 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 but one thing I, 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 I want to leave us with is because this is really, really important is that one, is that, now here it is, God has given everyone, everyone, everybody, mama, auntie, the baby, everybody, everybody, something special, something so special. That if you tap into what he gave you, the rooms that you walk in, the rooms that you find yourself in, and you realize that it just wasn't you that made you get there, but it was the person inside of you that you allowed to cultivate your gift and move some things out the way. So you can have residency in places where you're supposed to be. God bless you. Let's all rest on our feet and you that are viewing with us at this time, we pray that you would Spit down the fork or the knife or whatever you may be doing or may be eating. And we would ask that in the sanctuary you only know and you know those that are supposed to be moving. Your gift will make room for you. And 
bring you before greatness, great people, great men, some scriptures say, some versions say. But the emphasis was on us putting more emphasis on the temporal and tangible gifts that we put left less emphasis on the eternal and everlasting gifts. Even though God gave us the gift of eternal life for people that live in the temporal world, 